certificate of sponsorships have been delayed licenses have been revoked so you have to be very careful when applying for a job as a carer in the uk the uk immigration they are not playing <music> hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is fadura if you're joining me for the very first time i'm so happy to have you all in my beautiful family and for my returning subscribers i want to say thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos i really do appreciate god bless you and if you're here for the very first time on this channel i create a lot of content on how you can migrate to the uk through jobs through school I share jobs with visa sponsorship on I would like to say almost on a daily basis and also I share a lot of content around UK immigration changes to visa if you're someone who is interested in that hit on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so each time I upload a new video you're going to be the very first person to see that so guys let's quickly dive right into today's video so in today's video uh, we like to say i'm bringing to you a good news or bad news i don't know maybe at the end of the video you will know if it's a good news or bad news so i've been getting a lot of messages from my subscribers asking me about the reason why their course which is the certificate of sponsorship has been delayed for months and for weeks yeah and also i'm also going to share with you some care homes that their licenses have been revoked if you're waiting for your certificate of sponsorship and you have not heard from the organization that have employed you please do get in touch with them to find out how far and what is going on the uk home office is currently on fire they are fishing out a lot of care homes right now so i pray that your own care home is not one of the ones that have got this issue with home office firstly the certificate of sponsorship is a certificate that is given to you after you have successfully gotten a job in the uk so that certificate allows you to apply for your visa to come to the uk so some care organizations will sponsor you on that for five years and some will do it for three years so it depends on the contract you've got with the care home or the care company you have gotten a job with so that's the certificate which is caught by subscribers are waiting for right now usually the costs usually take a day to be out but due to covid and the ukrainian war it is now further delayed which i know that a lot of people have waited for months and they have not heard anything from their employers or their recruiters to give them their call so they could go for their visa application so and at the same time some people have waited for up to six months which i know a particular person that waited for up to i think up to six seven months i knew how often i called the company and they were telling me we just have to wait we just have to wait for home office to get back to us and also some people have gotten their cost certificate just immediately after they were offered their job so it all depends but i got in touch with one of the care home of one of my subscribers that has inboxed me and said, okay pass me their number i'm going to call them i've called them like two times and they were like oh we are just still waiting we are still waiting so at the same time i was like ah i know it's taking really long so what is happening and somebody in that office told me that what the home office is doing now because they are aware of a lot of care homes are taking money from people who are not carers just to bring them to the uk to work as carers so they are doing a thorough investigation so even before any one cost is issued they have to verify so now I was like, oh, they have to verify. Are you serious? He said, yeah, that they have to verify that they are going down deep to find out, to know if the carer that is coming from overseas is actually a qualified carer from overseas or the carer is an engineer that does not have any care experience but have revamped his or her CV just to relocate to the UK. So, which is why it's taking so, so long. So, but them as recruiters, what they are doing now, this is what a recruiter told me, which I want to share with you. So in case you're sending your CV, ensure that you have got this care experience. I'm telling you, like when sending your CV to any care home or any company to apply for a job in the UK, provided you're coming from overseas, they will definitely contact your reference. Even if you're in the UK, but now what they are doing because the home office is on them fishing out those care homes that have monetized the scheme to see how they can revoke their licenses now what they do the employers they call the references 
you have put on your CV. This is a recruiter telling me this to find out more about you even before you're being invited for an interview. Now, one of the things they are looking out for, if you have a Gmail, for instance, you use a doctor that works in a particular clinic without an official email. Let me use a, uh, let me use my name for an example. I'm Dr. Fadura at gmail.com. Most employers now, they are not honoring any gmail.com. They are looking out for professional email address. So if you have a reference from a care home, a hospital you have worked and you do, the reference does not have an official email, which is the company email, they won't even contact the person. This is what a recruiter told me. It's because they are looking out for those people that are actually faking experience to come to the UK. So if you have been submitting your CV and you have not gotten any notification from care homes or from the company you have applied to, go back and check your reference. Check if the email you have put for your referee is an official email. If it's not an official email, you have to contact the organization or the care home or the hospital you have worked to find out the official email. They are going that far right now to know if you are actually a carer or you're using this particular route to relocate to the UK through enemies and when you get to the UK you will leave the care job and look for another job they are looking out for that now if you're currently in the UK and you don't have a care experience you can still get a care job because you're currently in the UK they will train you they will do everything but if you're coming from overseas, they want to see that you already have that experience from overseas before you will come to the UK. So if you're one of those that have been applying for care jobs and you don't have care experience, I would say you should use the time you're waiting now to go and get experience from any of the hospitals, health centers that you can get. So this is for that delaying a lot of people not getting their course because the home office as well, they are doing some verification. Not only verification about the company, they are also looking into those they are recruiting. They send their CVs, they send a lot of things to home office for them to see. So if you're still waiting for your course, I think it will be wise that you contact the organization you have gotten your job with. Another one that I would love to share with you is something that happened to, I think this person is just a new person that subscribed to my channel because she was inboxing me and that she just found my channel and she wanted to just speak to me. And I was like, okay, that's fine. We booked a one-to-one -one section and I asked her what the problem was. And she said she's currently in the UK. I was like, oh, if you're currently in the UK, congratulations. At least you have left your country. She said, no, that there is a problem. And I was like, what is the problem? She said where she's working, the license of the organization, which is a care home, has been revoked. And right now she has been given to leave the country or she looks for another care home that can sponsor her, which was why she was inboxing me to be sending her links to companies in the UK that are sponsoring care workers. I asked her what happened and she said that in course of searching for companies that are recruiting in the UK, she found my channel and she was like, okay, let her get in touch with me and she would love to open up. I was like, okay, go ahead. That she actually paid for her to be in the UK, about £13,000 or thereabouts, for her to get secure a job with this particular care home. The £13,000 was meant to be paid twice, like two installments, paying, I think, £6,500. Which she paid from her country and when she gets here she's going to pay the remaining one through her work now she got here and she has been working and this organization she's working with they have not been paying her not even only her that I, I don't know i think there are about nine maybe ten of them they've not been paying them the complete amount which is making them struggle to live in the uk now they work like the mosillary care they go f like some of their from what she explained to me that some of the shifts they do is like 30 minutes away from the other shift and you have to walk because they are not driving so they have to walk the buses are not running there often so it's like you walk for the whole day the only day she has off is on sunday starts her shifts like 6 a.m in the morning she finishes like 10 11 in the night and at the end of the day 
they don't pay her for her traveling time they only pay her for the time she's there to do maybe 30 minutes shift one hour she said at the end of the day she could just do she she starts she starts working from 6 a.m and finishes at 10 p.m and at the end of the day she gets like eight hours shift for the whole day or six hours she whereas she's supposed to be paid for her traveling time like some care organization would do so and at the end of the day when they pay her her money they still not only her there are about nine or ten of them they still have to deduct the remaining balance from what was left on the thirteen thousand they were supposed to pay so one of them couldn't take it anymore and raise an alarm and the home office got to know about this and she wasn't even the one because she said she was really trying to like endure and pass through the payment process to the end even if she's got just one pound at the end of the year at least the month is counting but one of them that could not endure reported the incident to home office and as it stands now the license of that care organization has been revoked the other nine people or eight people with her have been asked to look for another job and they've got like 60 days to look for another job in the uk if not they will be in their countries so guys you have to be very very careful when she told me this like i was really touched because uh she's not a regular person on my channel i know she said she just found my channel while she was looking for care homes that are sponsoring and my name popped up and she really wanted to get in touch with me because she noticed i used to post jobs on a daily basis so and i just had to like advise her sent her some links in the uk that she can apply to i wish her all the best and i pray that uh, she finds a care home that will be able to sponsor her because she has already invested six thousand five hundred and that's gone and she has worked for some i think about two months now and now she's going to be without a job and having to look for another job and we all know how difficult the uk is right now which is why i used to tell my subscribers that you have to be careful when you're asked to pay for uh, a job for you to get a job in the uk you have to be very very careful now like i said she wasn't even the person that reported the incident to home office it was one of them but you can see how that incident has affected other people that actually paid to that particular care home so home office is actually fishing out some care homes that are currently collecting money from people so you have to be careful and also on your CV, as Elia mentioned, you have to put in your experience. Like, make sure you have that experience on your CV. Like, make sure you really, like, you have physically have the experience. Not just having an experience on your CV and you don't have the experience. Like, you don't have the skills. You have to be very careful when you are asked to pay money. Because you may pay that money and you will think that you have paid it and you're currently in the uk without you knowing about other people that actually paid that same money you always have to be very careful because like i said that you may not be the person that may report this to home office but remember that the same care organization that took money from you would have possibly taken money from others to bring them down to the uk and if anything goes wrong and anybody that came through that care home goes to report whether we like it or not, you're also going to be affected. That's because it's that care home that is sponsoring you. So you have to be very careful. Like I would say, instead of you to pay that certain amount for your care job and all of that, why don't you use it to come to the UK to study? Like now, you don't really have to pay the full school fee. You just have to pay a particular percentage. Some universities are taking two, five, three thousand, three thousand five, and when you get it, you pay the remaining amount. Instead of going to pay for care home that you don't know what is going to happen so guys please just as you have been inboxing me a lot of people as well have contacted me asking me if i know any agent that is collecting money this is when to start thinking about what you can use your money for if you are planning to come to the uk and the care one is not working for you just use your money and come and study than going to pay because anything can happen at any time as Elia mentioned, this girl that contacted, I'm sure she's watching this video right now. She told me about the care home. I actually contacted the care home, but I'm not going to be the one to like mention the care home in this video. But right now, she's she's desperately looking for a job and she has not seen and she's in the UK. So you that is applying from overseas, you have to be very vigilant. We know that sometimes we want shortcuts in life, but... There are some shortcuts that 
you may take at that particular time yes it's going to work for you but on the other side you're not sure of what is going to come out of it she has been in the uk for two months right she's she's been so happy that she's in the uk working but this is what has happened and from what she told me i really felt for her when i had that one-to-one -one session with her she was really crying she was like she was willing to endure in as much as she's struggling the money she's getting is not enough she's sharing an apartment where she has to pay i think about 400 pounds at the end of the month she maybe she has up to 100 pounds or so but she was still willing to manage but at the end of the day another person that could not manage reported the incident so guys you have to be very careful i'm not saying you should not apply as carers in the uk you don't pay to get a job i know a lot of care homes have monetized it i also interview people in my organization though we don't do visa sponsorship we have never asked anybody come and pay money before we could employ you no you it's jobs in the uk is basically on merit one of the important thing that the uk companies look out for is not your certificates it's not how many degrees you have gotten is your experience which is why now the home office is fishing out those that do not have that experience but they have it on their cv they are fishing them out so you have to be very careful you have to be very careful with any care organization you want to pay to i know a lot of people that have actually come to the uk without having to pay any care home and they got the job they are here Hopefully, I'll be interviewing some of them very soon so you can hear from them how they got there. I've actually interviewed one. She got her job from Indeed. All she needed to do was the Florence Academy course and she already had an experience from her country which helped her during the interview. And she got the job and she's here. You can watch that video. I'll leave it in the description box below so you can listen to her and follow exactly what she did and hopefully you may be lucky to get a job but be careful when you're paying that money especially when they say pay this amount to get a job in the uk you could pay it for that time yeah you could come to the uk but you can't guarantee what is going to happen after you have arrived in the uk with that organization you have paid to so guys uh if you have been following me and you have been watching my videos please please if you know i've always emphasized that you don't pay to get jobs in the uk you have to be very very careful with whatever you're doing even in cause of organizing your cv make sure you have the experience you're putting on your cv make sure you have that experience don't just so say you have experience in this and you don't have because it will tell even me if i have to interview you and i know you don't have experience i will tell from your response so any other recruiter will also tell that this person doesn't have an experience or let's say maybe you're lucky and you're able to now get the job after the interview and now they do their verification and they find out that you never worked as a carer or you do not have the experience then that's going to be another problem as well so if you're currently waiting for your certificate of sponsorship which is your course to be out i would say just send a reminder to the organization some organization will be very nice to say okay we are still waiting some will say oh sorry we are not waiting for your Cost anymore because our license has been revoked so but just get in touch with them and if you're about to pay money for this care job to bring it to the uk you have to be very careful as well because like i said you can't guarantee what is going to happen after you have arrived in the uk it may not come from you it may come from another person just like the lady that contacted me recently if you're still waiting to get a job genuinely just keep applying I upload jobs just once I see them I upload them just keep applying and don't give up I believe that you two will also testify like others one day and like I said use this license sponsored list search for companies there get in touch with the companies some companies are actually recruiting but they are not advertising it on their website which is what I noticed so get in touch with them and find out if they've got any available space that you're a carer and you're looking for a job so and i wish you good luck i hope they get back to you with positive feedback just like they've done to a few people that i know so guys we've actually come to the end of this video and 
I hope you find this video helpful and if you do and you're yet to subscribe to join our beautiful family please do not forget to hit on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so each time I upload a new video you're going to be the very first person to see that video until I see you in my next video guys do take care and have a lovely day bye bye for now